Thank you for tuning in to another session of a bodyweight fitness session inspired by yoga. Stepping to the top of what you consider your mat to be, take a few moments to ground your feet into the earth, moving the hips side to side, feeling the insides and the outsides of the foot tipping a bit perhaps. Lifting the toes up just a tad so you still yourself and then move forward and back a bit on the balls of the feet into the heels. Bringing the hands together at the heart center. <clears throat> Inhale and exhale Let the hands come by your sides. Inhale as you bring the hands together to the heart. Exhale as they go back. Inhale and exhale. I know your breath rate is different than mine, and so do your best to stay with your breath as much as you can versus trying to keep up or, I mean, I could be going um, too slow for you. So maintain your breath pattern as much as possible. Next time, let's bring the arms up overhead, inhaling, and then hinge at the hips as we exhale into the forward fold where we curl the hips underneath us. Extend forward, looking ahead, lengthening the spinal column. Now we're gonna step back onto the right knee. Taking the hands at our hips, take a moment, maybe exhale. Inhale, bring the arms up over the head. Exhale, arms come back down to the floor. Inhale into a plank position. Exhale, elbows fold. Ah, inhale into a soft cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, find your way into a tabletop. <sighs> inhale, and then exhale into down dog. Look ahead, let's take the right foot in front, letting the left knee come down. When you're ready to breathe in, bring the arms up over the head. Good. Bring the hands back down to the floor. We're gonna step forward into forward fold. And then extend the spine again, finding a beautiful length from tailbone to crown. Fold again, and then reverse that swan dive, I like to call it. Hands come together over the crown and then over the heart. Good. Exhale, arms by the sides. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale through hinge to fold. Inhale, nice length and extension. Exhale as we take the left foot back. Bring that left knee down to the earth. Pause for a moment. And then inhale, bringing the arms up overhead. Exhale, let's bring the arms all the way down. Inhale, step back to a plank. Exhale, fold the elbows, come down. Inhale into up dog or cobra, whichever you prefer. But exhale into a tabletop proper. Take a breath in and exhale into down dog. Look forward, inhale, step the left foot in front of you. Come down onto that knee, take a pause. When you're ready to breathe in, arms come up overhead. Bring the arms down by the inside of that left foot. Tuck the toes. Breathe your way into a forward fold. Inhale when you're ready into an extended spine. Fold again. Reverse and unhinge. Coming up. Hands together over the crown and over the heart in gratitude. Let's continue. Arms by the sides. Exhale. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Hinge to fold. Inhale, extend the spinal column, and then fold again into that lunge, taking the right knee down. When you're ready to breathe in, you'll bring the arms up. Ah, good. Exhale, and then inhale into that beautiful plank. Exhale your way down towards the earth. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, tabletop. Take a breath right here. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, take that right foot forward. The left knee comes down. Exhale. Inhale, arms come up. 
exhale, hands come down to the earth, step forward, fold, inhale into spinal extension, exhale, fold, and reverse again, coming up. Hands coming together over the crown and then back to the heart. By your sides, exhale, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge to forward fold. Really use those abs to curl forward. Now stretch that front body out. And then exhale, step back that left foot. Left knee's gonna come down to the earth. And you're gonna bring your arms up as you breathe in. Good, exhale down. Inhale into a plank. Exhale, folding the elbows. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhaling, tabletop. Take a breath in, exhale, down dog again. Oh. Inhale as you take the left foot in front, dropping the right knee down, and the arms return to the sky again. Oh. Lift those toes, set the hands on the earth, tuck the backs of the toes, pelvic tilt, big step forward. Extension of the spine. And then exhale again and reverse. Come all the way up, hands will meet overhead, and then back over the heart and just take a few moments to step on your mat. I'm gonna to turn to face you for a few steps. Get some motion going in the toes, some motion going in the toes. Let's work a different movement pattern now. Stepping to the back of the mat. Let's reach up and then swan dive down as we did pretty much from before, but taking a big circle and then circling up and around. I just want to hit my wall and move here. Okay, here we go. So I'm swan diving down and the arms, if you will, are coming forward, palms coming up here. Now I'm gonna come back the same way. Let's just do that a few more times. So beautiful opening of the heart, squeezing of the upper back muscles. As you're folding, you're activating those abdominal muscles, like a good old fashioned pelvic tilt. I'm hinging and now a pelvic tilt to assist me. I can feel that back stretch and feel the abdominals contract. Now the next time we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna walk out. So last time, swooping down, crawl out to an up dog, down dog for me. Good. Set the heels back, walk the hands, good. Now give me that reverse to come up. Good, and repeat. So coming down, walk out, up dog, down dog. Good, walking back. Soften knees as needed so you don't irritate your SI joint or the back body. Good, swan diving down, coming through. Up dog, down dog, and coming back. Basically, I want you to make a nice circular pattern. All right, one more time, then we're gonna add on. So I'm coming down and through, opening heart, and making sure I land on my palms, not the backs of your hands, of course. Good, all right. Okay, we're gonna hit that plank. So we're gonna come all the way down from fold hinging, or sorry, hinging to fold, rather. Walk out, up dog, down dog, plank. Now give me an arm and leg extension, please. One arm at a time, one leg at a time. Walk the hands back to meet the feet again with those nice extended legs if you can, and that reverse swan if you can make it happen. Bending knees at any point in time to relieve pressure. Crawling out, up dog, down dog. Plank pose, arm and leg extension, left side first, left arm, right arm, right leg, left leg. Good. And then walking back. Good, reversing that swan. Ah, oh, good. Here we go, swan diving down. Folding, right, and then crawling out from a beautiful plank, you keep stretching into up dog, pike up, down dog. Keeping the legs as extended. Oh, plank pose, my bad. <laughs> go around the world, arm and leg extension. Here we go. Now we walk back. I wanna keep those legs as extended as I can at the knee. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> I dropped down on that one. Here we go. 
Apparently that's what the body wanted to do, or I could very well have been getting confused trying to cue you and think at the same time. Plank pose, arm and leg extension. Left arm, right arm, right leg, left leg. All right, walk it back. We gotta add on. Straight knees, straight knees. Good, here we go. We're getting ready for push-ups. I'm gonna be doing my push-ups on my knees during this course. You're welcome to take it off the knee. Plank pose, arm and leg extension around the world. Right arm, left arm, left leg, right leg. Good. Now here comes that push-up. I can come down one knee, oh fancy, up dog, and then walk back. Reverse one. Good, coming around and through, hinge to fold. There you go, Cassandra, that's the cue you want. <laughs> up dog, down dog, a good strong pike here. Good, nice strong extended spiking, and then a strong extended planking, followed by around the world, arm and leg extension. All right, add your push up from one or two knees or no knees. Pike up, down dog. Oh, walk hands back to meet the feet. Unhinge as needed. Good, let's come down. Whew, walk her out. Up dog, down dog. In previous classes, I've used a lot more undulating at the spine, right? We're a little more neutral these days. <laughs> these days, this session. Oh well, yeah, if you do this class more than once, it would be these days. Push up time, I'm gonna do two knees. <sighs> Pike up, down dog. Walk hands back to meet the feet. I'm so glad I finally, after 35 years of teaching, have some stuff on record so I can actually listen to myself and wow. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been evaluated. I say some goofy things, I'm sure. Uh, arm and leg extension. Go around the world. Oh, get ready for your push up from your knees or your toes. One knee or two will do. <sighs> Pipe up, down dog. Oh, we've got a little more to add. Reverse one. Here we go, hinge at hips. Fold that navel, walk out, up dog, down dog. We're gonna keep the shoulder blades connected here. Oh, plank pose, around the world, arm and leg extension. Some of you wanna do one arm and one leg at one time, that's fine. Push up. Now I want you to give me an upper body sweep. So what that looks like for me is I take my legs wide and I'm gonna sweep up, opening, and then sweep and then I'll walk back and reverse that swan. Swan dive, hinging to fold. Crawling out. Ooh, up dog, down dog. Plank pose. Around the world with the arms. And then we've got our push up. I can hear my cats jumping around on the deck outside. Here comes that arm sweep. Sweep. And then I walk back. That sweep sometimes can be a little bit invasive. I don't take any move or movement pattern for granted, so you could do an alternate version. I did one on the very first one, more of a peeling up. I'll show you that again. Up dog, down dog, plank pose. Arm and leg extension. How are your shoulders feeling? Are you feeling your shoulders a bit? You're strong, you can do this. Give me a push up. Squeeze the muscles behind the heart. Squeeze the chest wall. When you do your sweep, you might want to sort of peel up if this big movement doesn't agree. Other side, walking back, hands meet the feet. Reverse swan dive. Whew, almost there, almost done with this pattern. Coming down and through, walking out, up dog, down dog. Arm and leg extension from your plank. Followed by one push up and then arm sweeping. There's the push up, here comes the sweep. Good, now I'm gonna take my leg and curl it behind me. I'm gonna bring it around, gonna twist the whole body. Gonna come back around, twist the body. Come back around, feet are wide. There's that rather stiff-legged dismount. Here we go, up mount, hinge to fold. 
Crawl it out, stretch the body out, find an up dog, down dog. Plank pose, arm and leg extension. Push-ups, baby. Give me some push-ups. Now arms sweep. And then the leg is gonna curl behind you. So you're gonna take the body. Boom, you can even bring the arm up. Here we go, nice wide stance. Walk those hands to meet the feet, unhinge. Here we go, this is the whole thing. Couple more times through. Hinge to fold. Walk it out. Stretch to up dog, down dog, plank pose. Let's go right arm first. Reach the right arm, then the left arm. Left leg up, followed by right leg up. All right, give me that push up. Find your arm sweep, right arm sweep first. Give me the leg curl. Leg will come back right side first. Oh. Same thing, other side. Plank to down dog. Walk hands back. Actually, it's just sort of walking back, right? It's not really a plank to down dog at all, unless it's in a quick motion. Coming down, last time. Walking out, up dog, down dog. This we know it is. And then this we know is a plank. Left arm reach first, followed by right arm. Right leg, left leg up. Here comes that final push up. And find some arm sweeps. Left arm, right arm. I did it the reverse. Oop, that's okay, as long as we do both, right? Yowza. Here we go, plank. Now down dog. Good, so it is a plank to down dog. Ha ha ha. Reverse, <laughs> that's on me. Here we go, take a little break. Grab some water. All right. Woo. So let's take our palms facing away from our body or facing each other, as the case may be. Bring the fingers together in a nice long line up and curl the top knuckles like you're on a ledge and then curl the knuckles into a fist, flatten the fingers, and then open up. So little ledge, fist, flat finger, palm. Little ledge, fist, flat finger, palm. Ledge, fist, flat finger, palm. Two more, ledge, fist, flat finger, palm. One more, ledge, fist, flat finger, palm. Followed by some wrist circles. Nice, nice something something for the tendons. Nice work for the knuckles. Get some fluid in these very, very important joints. These muscles in general from your elbow down are your endurance players. From up top, they're your more short burst of energy players. So, you know, it's these, they may feel like they're wearing out on you, you know, they're getting tired, but look how long they perform for you. But don't ever expect them to be necessarily as strong up here, right? We do big bicep curls, for example, with these muscles. We tend to do different things with these muscles down here. Support system for this area. Point being that they are the slower twitch muscle fibers in general. Compared to the faster twitch, we have slow, fast, and intermediate. And in any case, your slower twitch muscle fibers do get fatigued like any muscle fiber will, but they are your long distance player. So let's celebrate. Are you feeling some heat and blood with just these circles? You're still doing your circles, right? I'm assuming you're still doing this with me. We're going back to the ledge. Curl fist, flat finger, palm. Little ledge, curl the fist, flat finger, palm. Take it now into a, what we call a horse stance. So continue now. Ledge, curl, flat finger, palm. Ledge, curl, flat finger, three more. Ledge, curl, flat, palm, two more. Ledge, curl, flat finger. Is it one more? Can she count? All right, 
So I'm feeling some pump of blood and fluid in the forearms. All right, so coming into that deep, deep horse stance, lift the toes up, squeeze the root chakra for me, nice and tight, nice and tight. Good, what I'm gonna to start to do is just a side lean, if you will, the lateral flexion. I'm allowing some motion around the navel line, not just at the hip, there's a little bit of a hip hinge. And just letting the arms go where they may, letting them float in front of me, allowing the arm to touch the leg, leg to touch the arm now with intention. So as this left arm comes down, I'm actually pushing my whole thigh into the arm, but pushing the arm back into the thigh, creating some resistance from both the arm and the leg. Good. Careful not to fall forward too much. So as I'm coming down, I'm pulling the scapula up top behind me. So I'm pulling the left scapula, oh, bringing it behind me, pulling now this scapula up. Good. Neck staying right along with the whole spinal column and head staying along with the neck, right? I'm not doing any kind of crazy thing. I'm just letting it stay right on top. Now I'm gonna push the palm of my hand down, still maintaining contact with the leg and leg with arm. Then I'm gonna slowly squeeze the scapula, look up to the sky. Palm up to the sky, other palm down to the earth. Careful not to lean forward, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the upper back. How low can you go? Bend the knees a little bit if you're itching to touch the floor and you can't bend those knees for me, that's fine. Two more. Don't fall forward. Don't fall forward, please. Now, when you're at the bottom, I want you to scoop some sand and I want you to reach with this arm. Good, and then I want you to come down, I want you to switch. And at the bottom, scoop some sand up and reach with that top arm and switch it. Slide down, scoop sand, push the clouds up and away and exchange it. Come down, scoop some sand. Notice how that causes you to do a little pelvic tilt and then you reach up. Good. Can we do one more on each side? Coming down, scooping up, Whoa. and the other way. Coming down and scooping up, bring our hands together up overhead, and right here, here we go. Let's now perfect it a little bit, or change it, I should say. Let's just change it. Come in a little bit more, turn one toe out a bit, okay? Now let's pick up where we left off. I'm gonna scoop some sand, I'm gonna pelvic tilt, Oh, push the clouds up, 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 and then exchange. But I gotta move the feet, so move the feet. So now I'm bringing my head towards my left foot, so left foot goes towards that end of the mat. Scoop, reaching, reaching, feel a stretch here. Pivot. Scoop. Oh, push the hand up. Put the sand in this hand. Oh, I gotta drop the sand. Holding a little bit of grains of sand up here. More sand, pull it up. You don't wanna pick up sand, pick up pebbles, pick up marbles, quarters. <laughs> pick something up. Good. One more on each side. So let's bring the arms all the way up. We got one more on each side. Exchange, exchange. Oh. Hey, students, those of you who've been taking class with me for a while, what does this look like? Oh, the windmill. It's an approach to the windmill. It's an approach to my favorite exercise, one of my favorite exercises. Hands come together, bring them in. Good. Could we do something else to it? We really could. Think of how a windmill from base down doesn't move, just the arms move, so we get really tight. You're welcome to have your feet forward and do this. I like one foot turned out just a little bit. I wouldn't say my heels are lined up on a tight rope for me personally, but that's a good place to start. This heel happens to be just slightly ahead of this one, if you will, 
Everything else is pretty much the same. I use my barn door as a nice vertical line and I try to keep this line from hip to ankle vertical. I'm still gonna use the same concepts, arm and leg are connected. I'm gonna do a little pelvic tilt, scoop some sand up. I'm doing a reach, 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 reach. Whew, pack everything. Good. I could have a weight in my top hand or my bottom hand, or just do the exercise body weight only. Pelvic tilt, reach, reach, reach. Oh. Remember, you can bend your knees if we're just not traveling. Okay, so I, you see this, this knee's a little bent, and I could bend this one a little bit more if I really wanted to get down to the floor, pelvic tilt. To keep myself from falling forward, I'm using all those upper back muscles. Now I'm gonna change sides for a few on this side. The stance is pretty much the same, right? I like a slight angle here. Again, your feet can be forward. You wanna to try to maintain your vertical line on this side really all the way even through the elbow if you can. So that's gonna cause you to use your rotator cuffs and move that scapula around, see that internal rotation happening to keep the palm up. Reach, 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 reach. So I mentioned in another class that I was wrapping a few Christmas presents the other day, or oh, two weeks ago now, whatever it was, but recently, <laughs> wrapping presents. And I was on the floor and I put one of the boxes in my hand and I got up and I held the box like so and I had to move around, right? I had to move that scapula around so I wouldn't drop the box. I wouldn't say it was the heaviest box, but I was impressed with my ability, my coordination. All right, have we done enough on this side? Are we good for one more? Let's do one more. Lift your toes up, squeeze the pelvic floor especially on the way down. And I'm gonna really squeeze pelvic tilt, the muscles around the navel, oh, coming up, put my hands together and come down. Nice, I'm gonna do a little camera angle change. Let's come down to the floor and do a little static stretching to get us in and out in 30 minutes. So extending one leg out in front of you, notice if the femur tips or not. Can we keep it pretty straight, if you will, linear versus externally rotated or internally rotated. Soften the knee if you need to. Reach for that big toe or all your toes and fold them back with the palm of your hand and go ahead and look down at your kneecap for a moment. When our muscles are pliable, they're agreeable. And a static stretch like this at the end of a workout is a nice way to restore the muscles and in effect prepare them for the following workout the next day or maybe your activity a little later on. But a static stretch is letting the body know, ooh, it's time to decrease performance. So if you're interested in stretching, which I am, and it has a place, just make sure you are stretching in the right way for the right activity. The grip from the abdominals creating a pelvic tilt to pull myself up from that leg and then over to the other side. Once more, making sure I'm aware of how the femur is set. If you can't force it to a more you know uh, neutral position, don't force it. If you're here, just work it little by little, and you know eventually you'll get it to that place. Perhaps hinging, folding, reaching with one hand the big toe or all the fingers. If you find it hard to manage your breath, work with your breath, then you could be outside of mild tension. And I never want us to stretch outside of mild tension, right? If the leg is shaking, that's a sign of fatigue. So I would just back out of the pose altogether, regroup, maybe not do it at all or modify. No, you know, shocking reactions, no shocking words. You should be able to sing right now pretty comfortably and, and, and feel as though you're scratching an itch. All right, many other muscles we could stretch, but we're running out of time. When I don't have a whole lot of time, the hamstrings in the back are my favorite, so those are my go-to. So let's finish with the knees to chest. 
maybe a full happy baby where you open up, hooking the arms underneath or on top. You could grab the soles of the feet for stirrups. You could hook your forefinger around the big toe. Lots of options here. Well, let's get that low back a little love. Take a few conscious breaths in and out. Being very mindful of that breath coming in through the nose and leaving the body through the nose or the mouth. While you're holding your knees to your chest and taking a few last cleansing breaths, I just want to thank you for tuning in for this quick 30-minute body weight workout. Be sure to check out the other classes that I offer, including an advanced strength class that's coming soon. It's not published yet, but it's on its way. And I'm adding to the library every day. All right, so please drink some water, wash your hands, mask up when you need to, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.